Hi, my name is Talia Barrios, and I am doing my Go See It project on merchandise inventory. Um, I have here Jen. Uh, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself and the company you work for and what you do here? Yes, my name is Jennifer Barrios, and I work for b, &B Food Service. We're a wholesale food distributor. Um, we specialize in Mexican ingredients, Mexican restaurant ingredients. Um, so a lot of the, um, our specialty would be products that we import from Mexico and distribute locally here to other restaurants. Great. Uh, what inventory system do you guys use? Is it perpetual or per periodic? Um, it's perpetual. We are constantly doing inventory. Um, for the most part, we do, uh, it'll be like our highest sellers and we will check a lot of our high sellers and high value um, items after every sales day. So um, as soon as the orders leave on in the morning, they will go and do a um, manual count of our highest, um, our highest selling items and our most, um, our, our highest cost items as well. Um. When does the sale usually occur? Um, at FOB Shipping Point or FOB Destination? It depends because we have customers that we deliver to, but then there will be also customers that pick up orders. So it just depends when it's in the customer's possession. Um, if we're delivering, then it's when we get to the location. But if they're picking up, then it's when, they, when it leaves our facility. Um, how often... Uh, is physical inventory taken? Uh, what is the routine for when you guys do that? Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's pretty much when we, when our, we'll do a, um, we'll count everything in the warehouse like twice a year, um, especially before fiscal year end. We'll make sure that everything is um, accounted for. Um, but the items that we sell you know, our highest cost items, those we, we keep, we monitor, um, a lot better. We, we count daily. So do you guys use FIFO, LIFO, or average method when it comes to the cost of all that? Um, we do first in, first out. So, um, a lot of our products are, have a shelf life. So we make sure that we sell them according some according to date, actually. So, like, they're, you know, a lot, we sell proteins, and sometimes we'll get proteins delivered to us that have a pack date after the ones we already have. So, when it comes to proteins, we'll make sure that we go by the date, the pack date. Um, but for the most, and, and yeah, so like, and then produce, it, we do the same. So, we base it off of like the quality of the produce. So, if we think that one has to, we, we get shipments twice a week for produce, so just depending on the shelf life that we um, that we determine when we see it, then you know quality control is monitored, and we make sure that we um, push out the one that has a, a lesser of shelf life. For the most part, everything else like the disposables are first in, first out. Just you know we rotate them as they come in. Oh, thank you so much for your time. Thank <laughs> you.